you'd never want to hear that your kid has cancer. It's just the most life crashing thing. There was a lot of a lot of unknowns, a lot of what ifs, a lot of really scary stuff going on all at the same time. It starts hitting home, it starts getting real in a hurry. We become very close with our patients because we're taking them through probably the darkest days of their lives. To come here and have people that know exactly what they're doing and know exactly what you're going through and tell you, we got this, we're gonna do this together. And at the end of this, she's gonna see and she's gonna live. And it's just amazing. Wills is one of the rare places in the world where across the entire spectrum, we have top experts in every field. It's like all the Heisman Trophy winners in the world are on the team. No matter where you go in the United States, they know about Wills Eye Hospital, they know about ocular oncology, and they know about Jerry Shields. 40 years ago, I started developing the oncology service. And at that time, there weren't many places in the world treating eye cancers. The rote manner of management in the beginning was to do an enucleation, removing the eye, uh, which of course means you lost vision, and that was the end of it. So we worked together to develop techniques of using radioactive plaques or discs to suture on the surface of the eye underneath the tumor to treat the tumor with radiation rather than removing the eye. When you're able to put the radiation right exactly where the tumor is, you're going to do better with less in the way of reactions, complications, so to speak, from the treatment program itself. The word came out throughout the region initially, and then nationally and finally internationally, and we developed a service just to concentrate on those different conditions. In the clinic, we see new patients each week. On Mondays, we'll see anywhere from 40 to 50 new patients, all with terrible eye cancers or tumors that simulate a cancer, very stressed out. Wednesday, I have to be on top of my game because I deal with babies with eye cancer. And when I'm at bat with a baby with eye cancer, I got to swing that bat so hard that it's a home run every time. Carol probably sees half the retinoblastoma as a childhood cancer of the eye in the United States, and we work with her very, very carefully. Ralph Eagle is probably the most critically important pathologist in terms of an eye program in this country. Doesn't use the metastasize to the eye. Ralph Eagle is one of the real anchors of Will's Eye Hospital. Is that a little fibrous metaplasia on the surface yeah, there? Yeah, it's up to 1.3 millimeters. Okay. Carol's absolutely excellent and magnificent as a physician and a surgeon. You don't find doctors any better than that anywhere as far as I'm concerned. Philadelphia is a very unique medical town. People come to Philadelphia for treatment from all over the world. Our reputation is international when it comes to health care incredible expertise in neurosurgery at Jefferson, the expertise of some of the top radiation oncologists, the phenomenal presence of the top children's hospital in the world. Dr. Meadows, my mentor, uh, really invented the treatment that we use today that has been the most successful, that has been adopted worldwide. Dr. Sato is developing techniques that are really unique in treating metastatic melanoma. It was rapidly fatal a few years ago. It's becoming something that we have a lot of enthusiasm for the future. Trying to tackle the disease from every side is really important. We couldn't have done it without a team approach. Pascal Jabor at Jefferson Hospital has been absolutely instrumental in developing and improving our techniques of treating children with retinoblastoma and to give chemotherapy directly into the eye. This is an outpatient procedure uh, where I would go less invasive, endovascular, transfemoral, through the artery going to the leg, the femoral artery, and I would go up all the way to the ophthalmic artery, which is the artery that goes to the eye, and then we would deliver targeted chemo directly there. I take those procedures very seriously, and despite the fact that this is a teaching hospital, I do the case uh, from the beginning till the end myself. It's a pleasure working with Jefferson and Children's and Temple and pen. All working together for the best interest of the patients. There should be no boundaries. We're saving lives of kids and saving vision. There is no other ophthalmology center in America that even comes near to Wills. 
we would not have been able to get from where we were in the 1980s to where we are in 2015 without that donor support. That donor support has allowed us to grow our programs, come up with new solutions for patients, and continue to dream about where we're going in the future. We're on the brink of some big discoveries. Hopefully by the time I finish my career, the days of watching people die from ocular melanoma will be only dusty memories. When Dr. Shields, being all business, sits down across the room and smiles at you and says, your child's cancer free, there is no tumor, no regrowth of any sort, you cry. I honestly don't know where I would begin to say thank you. I would probably have to say Dr. Shields and Dr. Leahy. And then from there on, It'd be endless because I honestly feel this place is priceless. You put all your faith in them, and I thank God every day that there is a place like Will's Eye and Chop that can save children like they've saved Tatum for me.